Hello and welcome to a CISSP micromodule on change management. This video will help you to memorize, hopefully, the steps. So let's get right into it. I happen to be a Lord of the Rings fan, so hopefully some of you, or if not most of you, have at least seen the Lord of the Rings movies. You may not like them, but I don't think you need to necessarily like them, as long as you know a little bit about the story. So here we go. You know that it happens in a place called the Shire or whatever. There's a guy named Frodo who's the main character, and you know there's a ring, right? So here's the phrase for you to remember. The phrase is, Frodo and Sam are definitely intent on relinquishing the ring. And you can put all those letters, you can put all those letters together to come up with however you want to pronounce that. If it helps you remember it, faceter or faceter or fauceter, I don't know, something like that. Okay, so let's get into it. F is for Frodo, which is actually for the formal request for change. This is where the request goes into the process through some form or through some formal mechanism that requests the actual change to the software or the system. In some cases, the baseline. So there's Frodo and, so the A would stand for analyze the request for feasibility. So this is where the team members would take the request and look at it to see if the change to the baseline or the software or the code would is actually feasible. S for SAM, which is actually strategy for implementation. So this is where the team would kind of hash out the strategy for implementing the change, the pros, the cons, how it would impact other things, and so forth. A would be for R, so Frodo and Sam R, which is the approval stage. So once all, it's all been hashed out and discussed, there's going to be an approval or a denial, assuming that the thing is going forward. Let's go with approval. And this approval comes from upper management, the sponsors of the change management. Definitely. So you have Frodo and Sam RD for definitely, and the D would be for develop. So you would develop the change. Intent on. So we have Frodo and Sam are definitely intent on. The I would be for implement and test. So this is where the change is actually put into place and then tested. I shouldn't say put into place. Necessarily, it would be activated and tested. I guess you could say. R is for relinquishing the, for the change management process, it would be review. So you would review the, you'd review the functionality and the impact. Uh, ring, okay, so R is for ring. The next R would be for ring, which is actually report in the change management process. So you would report on the, on how the change is doing and how it's functioning and if it's functioning as intended and report to both stakeholders and upper men. So a couple things that you should know with the change management process is the difference between configuration management and change management. So change management, well, so backing up, configuration management is establishing a baseline, a secure baseline for the system or the environment or the organization. And change management would be changing the baseline. So know the difference. The change management requires uh, approval, of course, upper management approval requires uh, heavy testing make sure that the documentation is accurate and up-to-date and there always has to be a backout plan so once again we have Fauceter or Faceter or whatever you however you want to pronounce it we have Frodo and Sam are definitely intent on relinquishing the ring so memorize those steps hopefully this helps and if there are any questions, comments, or corrections, please leave them in the comment box below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.